By 1870, most of the available land west of the Mississippi was settled and more land was needed. The future Sooner State was off-limit to non-Indians in the post-war period, except for cattlemen with grazing leases in the western part of the state and permit holders among the five civilized tribes. To, pre to prepare for settlement of Oklahoma Territory, 160-acre plots were sectioned off as early as 1852. The territory was first divided into east and west. Today, this line is known as the Indian Meridian. Then, it was divided into north and south. Next, the quadrants were marked off into one-mile sections. Then, into 36 sections. Each were 160 acres. Then, each section was numbered 1 through 36. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine and so on. Rent on this property has not been paid. The warning's been given thrice. Bastards are burning our house! <laughs> Don't be afraid to kill him! Looking young Lord Christie! Assassinate the bastard! <laughs> Daddy! Ah, uh, uh, Sir Joseph, though it was too good to be kept a secret, sir. <laughs> Strong, healthy men and women. Every resident of the United States is entitled to 160 acres of land. They've got so much of it, they give it away for free. This girl's got in her head, they're giving land away for free. That's true. Oklahoma Territory. The West's opening up. I told you, boy. That'd be good, lad. It's the Railroads, banks, and merchants from St. Louis, Kansas City, Topeka, and Wichita were interested in the opening of Indian Territory for settlement. But if they were to push Congress, the public would not be receptive to the idea, especially those living in Indian Territory, whose culture was community-based. Home seekers were urged to push for the opening of Indian Territory. Once the territory was open, all would benefit, including the home seeker. Through the combined work of congressmen, the Boomer Movement, and several Indian tribes, the unassigned land, 2 million acres in western Oklahoma, would open for settlement in a proclamation by Benjamin Harrison on April 22nd, 1889.
no wish to fight. The movie is supposed to be an illustration of the opening of the unassigned lands on April 22, 1889, and is somewhat accurate, but the real thing does not make an exciting move. For this land run and others, a date would be set and home seekers would gather in the preceding days. At noon, a military officer blew a bugle and the pioneers ran or rode into the unassigned land. Once they found the land of their dreams, they had to find a stake. Then, they would take the stake to the claims office to get the title to their land. However, some land runs did not work this way. Oh, Lord protect us! Daniel! Here they come! Stand by, partner! And pretend you're out of breath! Pretend! My heart's up here in my nose! My God, Nora! The term Sooner is used to describe home seekers who crept into the homestead before the official time and date. This would allow them to find the best land before rule following home seekers. This was such a common occurrence that it is estimated that half of the claims in the Kickapoo land run were Sooners. To avoid Sooners from taking land from legitimate home seekers, a new land distribution method was used in the settling of the Kiowa, Comanche, Wichita, Caddo, and Apache lands in southwest Oklahoma in August of 1901. 165,000 hopefuls registered at Fort Sill or Fort Reno to have their names drawn for one of the 15,000 homesteads available. To avoid accusations of cheating, all names were drawn and put on a list posted in Norman so participants could verify that their names had not been removed from the raft. Many land runs did not use the stake method but relied on rocks placed by land observers as early as 1852. Once a home seeker found the land they wanted, they had to search the perimeter of the claim for a stone inscribed with the coordinates of the claim. There was no guarantee the stone had not been affected by the elements and there was always a risk of picking up someone else's claim marker. The settlement of Oklahoma by land runs created a diverse population because this means the settlement was open to anyone willing to make the journey. The steady increase in population also made the creation of a unified state of Oklahoma possible in 1907.